Good afternoon. It is Sunday. So Sunday today, a nice quiet one for me to be fair and probably more filled with work uh, and various other sort of things that I need to get done, sort of house stuff. As you can see, they are probably somewhere. I need to tidy that stuff up, uh, file it away, do all my admin stuff. All very boring to be perfectly honest. I will however later be in the gym training a lower body, so I'm looking forward to that. I am going to sneak my phone in and uh, I'm going to film some things like squats, deads and whatnot, alright? Okay, so today is workout macro day. Okay, so first way to be able to calculate the macros. There are three ways, but I'll do uh, a few of them and I'll get to the end point at which how I've calculated my macros. So, number one. What I want you to use is just some sort of BMR calculator online. That can be a Harris Benedict formula, it can be a Mifflin St. Jor, whichever it is, it'll give you a, an estimation roughly of your basal metabolic rate. This is the amount of calories that you're going to be requiring just to function, so lying down, breathing, doing nothing, that's how many calories you'll need. Depending on your activity level, you want to time that number by about 1.1 to 1.9. So if you sit on your bum all day doing absolutely nothing, then you probably don't need that many calories, so you don't need to go for the higher numbers. If you are a multi-sport athlete with lots of different kind of activity through the day, you're likely going to require a high amount of um, calories. So 1.9 would be probably the number that you'd look to aim for. Now, number two just involves you taking your weight. So let's take your weight, times it by 2.2 to get it into pounds. And then you want to times it anywhere between nine and 16. So nine is usually the lower number that you might go for if you're towards the end of a cut. And 16 would be sort of a and a heavy bulking phase, or one that when you're very active and you find it difficult to gain weight, you'd likely consume a lot of calories. So let's say you take a generic middle number of around the 12 mark, you're reasonably active, you go to the gym, etc. So just take your weight in pounds, times it by 12. Then take some basic numbers like two grams per kilogram for protein, take about one, 0 0.9 to one gram per kilogram for fat, which should be about 30 to 35% of your intake, and then the rest from carbohydrates. Now, number three, and this is the method that I've used over the past sort of two weeks. Now, preparatory phases are ones which I could recommend to anybody before they necessarily compete, or before they even prepare, or before they're even looking to start their diet. So these two weeks I've been tracking, I should have been tracking every day, but I did miss one day. Yes, I know. Uh, so I have 13 days to work out my averages from, so I've taken 13 days worth of weigh-ins and 13 days worth of calories that I've tracked. So what have I come up with? I have uh, 2,800 calories. Now this is rounded up slightly, so the actual average was 2,783.545, blah, 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 but no one likes those kind of numbers, so I'm going to round them up slightly. Um, 2,800 calories, 185 grams of protein, 340 grams of carbs, and 80 grams of fat. So this kind of lines up quite nicely with what my habitual intake is likely going to be, um, how many carbs that I like to have, because again, like I've talked about before in this vlog, is that my activity level is very high, so that just means that I can have a, quite a large amount of carbohydrates, and even a large amount of calories to be fair. So yeah, 2,800. 185, 340 grams of carbs, and 80 grams of fat. So from this, this is what I'll be sticking with for the next number of weeks. Again, I'll be tracking my intake as per usual, so I'll just make sure um, that I'm hitting the numbers that I just told you, but I'll also be tracking my weight to see how things move. Usually the first week you'll see a reasonable drop in terms of weight, and then we'll just track it on average every week to see if there's any movement. I'll be aiming for upwards of 1%, certainly in the first few weeks. And then as diet starts to taper in, usually it starts to come down a little bit in terms of the percentage based on my own body weight. So it'll go from about one, and it'll probably come down to about 0.5. But yep, just like that, macros, set them all out. And then over the next few weeks, I'll be tracking accurately this time, no missing days, um, and take things from there. So, because this is a bit of a boring Sunday, I thought I'd show you what I take to the gym. So I've collected everything here, and then I'll pop it in my bag. First up, some lifting shoes because it's squat day. Now I have the dorsiflexion of a rock. So these bad boys are lovely because they've got a nice big heel. 
Next up is this little bad boy. This is how I film my uh, form videos and stuff. Um, so this bit holds my uh, phone, that's the one. And then this is kind of like a grilly potty thing. That goes in there. Now, next two items, some chalk. Again, you can get lots of different types. This is my protein, yeah, that's gonna focus. And then some lifting straps, because these help me when I do low bar squatting, which is quite sore. So I'll take these in. Next up are some bands. These are just really good for stretching and stuff and pull aparts and tings. Next one's the trusted workout log. So this brings, let's take it every session, every session. Now, obviously I don't pack my bag like this often. Just FYI. The last one up is my lifting belt. Now this obviously doesn't necessarily fit in the thing. This was from the power, oh, what shop was it from? Strength shop, that's it. So great trusty belt, really, really good. And it goes there. Oh. So that's a little run through of my lifting gear. Um, yeah, so a bit of powerlifting kind of stuff because obviously that's where I come from. It's the basis of my program is largely around sort of performance based, the first exercise, and then it's all accessory work. I try not to take too much stuff with me, like no straps or uh, knee wraps or all that kind of stuff, but certainly some lifting shoes because I have really crap ankle flexion, uh, a belt just because I like it based on its performance benefit, increase more intra-abdominal pressure. Third one is my workout log, absolutely, and chalk and wrist straps. These contribute towards a grip strength and also help save my ankles. Oh, ankles? Yeah, they're they my ankles, apparently. Uh, and, uh, wrists to help support them during low bar squatting. <laughs> trained and yeah I had a good session today it was nice you know I warmed took a type, long time warming up which I don't always have time for uh, 200 for sort of singles on deadlifts which is sort of the heaviest I've gone for a little while so I was happy with that um, squats went well 152 and a half for four sets of six and then a little bit of accessory work sort of walking lunges and I haven't done walking lunges for ages so my ass is going to be sore tomorrow uh, some seated hamstring curls and then some calf raises and whatnot um, but there was one thing that was a little bit interesting that happened to the gym today. Now that is a man doing lateral raises with 46 kilo dumbbells. Yep, not so good. I think the other quite interesting thing is that girls now who go to the gym seem to think that it's a nightclub, but they actually wear less clothes than they would when they go to a nightclub. Yeah, I don't know. The gym's turning into some interesting uh, interesting things uh, recently, but you know, it is what it is. Now it is post-workout time, so I'm gonna have myself an egg sandwich. I love egg sandwiches. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I am in the editing snuggle chair. If you've ever considered buying a snuggle chair, please buy one. They're very good. Very, very good. Um, so I'm just editing vlog number 13 over here. Oh, can I get you in there? Yeah, there. Um, so Sunday, this, today's Sunday's been a little bit boring, to be honest. Uh, this is probably the least active or things to do vlog that I've done in the past two weeks, pretty much. So hopefully I've covered a few things today. You know, we've covered things like uh, what I take to the gym, my current macros that I've set, and I've hit them tonight, which I'm, I'm pleased about. And then, and that was kind of it really today. That's all I've kind of done. I've like gone to the gym, set my macros, done a decent amount of work, like emails and programs and stuff. Um, yeah, episode 13 is done. And then next week I have a nice busy week with training with Ben Lauder Dykes tomorrow.